it, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn with Elixir Vite Games. As always, here is the cursory reminder that if you are looking for no spoilers about Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn, you are in the wrong place. I think we're kind of close to the end of this, so you're very much in the wrong place. Um, go and do whatever you need to do, then come back. Um, but yeah, spoilers for Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn, we're on part 23 here, so I would hope you know this by now. <laughs> Um, but yes, hello, welcome back! Uh, what did we do last time? We mostly did side quests, actually we entirely did side quests. We finished off the DLC side quest with um, Alfin researching weddings. He finished off by researching how to do a proposal. Um, which for some reason he decided the best way to research that would be by fighting a Zoogle by himself. A giant Zoogle. But Shion ended, ended up noticing and they fought it together and then they went to Bear Volcano and talked things out a little bit. And decided that in the future, if Alpha's going to be researching things like this, he's going to do it together with Xion instead of excluding her because she felt a bit left out. Uh, so we did that, and that was all good. Um, hold on, did I ever read Xion's final diary from that? I didn't. I forgot to read Xion's final diary from that. You know what? Let's just do that now while I remember. Oh. Thanks, everyone. Alphen's been thinking about his future and gathering information, and everyone's been helping him. That's why they've been whispering this whole time. I don't mind that they kept it from me, but the fact me but the fact that they did means maybe Alfin did it out of consideration for me, which I would honestly appreciate. And I also appreciate everyone else going along with it. I'm really happy with things as they are now. Although writing all this down, it's a little embarrassing how I completely got the wrong impression. I may have to burn this diary eventually, eventually but I'd rather not. I hope it doesn't have to be burned from the bottom of my heart. I may have started writing this diary on a whim, but now I'm glad I did it. It's been really nice. If I start to forget what happened during the year, I can look back here and remember what I was thinking and how we spent time together. The old me never would have wanted to recall the past. I never imagined a future me that would want to look back on the past either. This is all thanks to the fact that I met everyone. They really are the greatest friends. Thank you. Oh, that's so freaking sweet, Shion! I can't believe I forgot to read that last time. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> so that happened last episode. Um, what else did we do? Oh my goodness, we did the Dohalim personal side quest where Faria was abducted and we saved her and Dohalim realized he's got a lot left to do in terms of getting people to um, get along and also making sure that people are protected. Uh, his friends and stuff because they are being targeted in Doholim's sake. Um, and he had a really nice conversation with Kisara about it and how things may be looking forward to and may eventually see the utopia that they dream of. Uh, which was really sweet. We also did the... <laughs> we did the other side quest in the end which was a juice making contest to make Doholim juice. <laughs> of which Law was the winner. And now he's gone off to work on the farms, um, headbutting fruit for a living. No, <laughs> he was almost sent off, but he wasn't quite. Anyway, we have a couple of, of uh, quests to do today, so we're just gonna be doing those. Um, I want to do the one here in Pelagian first. It's not level one. Ooh, I wonder what this is gonna be. I think it's gonna be the last of the rejuvenation quests, but I'm, I'm not sure what exactly it'll be. Um, so we'll do this first, and then we'll go ahead and do Alfin's personal quest. And if we get another quest along the way, then so be it. I. Oh, they're they're having to fight off the masked people too. Oh dear, this is this is uh, a big yikes. I'm, I can't talk to every single NPC. I, my voice will literally die. I want to, but I've, I've given up. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was nice to talk to them at the beginning, and now I'm like, okay, I, I get it. All right, um, these people. Hello. Why you? Like hell! I paid my hard-earned cash for this. <sighs> But we need that food, we're starving! Hmm. Sounds like quite the dispute. Care to fill me in on the details? Oh Lord Dohalim! The Dadans are buying up all the food! They're trying to starve us! Stop with the false accusations! I'm simply buying the food I need! I have no obligation to give it to you just because this is the last of it! I need it for my family! Don't even try to tell me you have mouths to feed! How dare you! I did have family! Until they were slaughtered by you red and scum! Calm down, both of you. I understand the quarrel, but there- I understand the quarrel. There isn't enough food around- There isn't enough food to go around, correct? 
In Pelagian, business is conducted fairly, with no distinction between Danans and Renans. It is unfortunate for you, but that means first come, first served. This man has the right to purchase the food. That can't be! You don't understand! My father is ill! He needs some nutrition in order to recover! Huh? Oh, really now? And how do we know you're not lying just so you can get more for yourself? <sighs> Both of you need to stop making accusations. Ugh. This issue is unrelated to race. There simply isn't enough food to go around in Pelagian. Unless all nations coordinate, ho coordinate how much food they need and adjust trade accordingly, there will be no long-term solution. Why don't we try negotiating with the merchants of Menencia? Vicente may have more surplus than the other nations. Mm. Perhaps we could act as an intermediary and facilitate additional trade with Vicente. Let's give it a shot. As you heard, we will go to Vicente to negotiate. While we're there, we will procure from some food for your father. Really? Thank you. We Renans are truly blessed to have you as our guardian, Lord Doholi. <laughs> Figures you take the red inside. It is not because she is Renan. She is in need, so I offer assistance. I would do the same for you. Besides, I am merely a representative of Rena. It is not the position many assume that it is. Dohalim? I apologize, but we must make our leave. Uh, oh, okay. Dohalim? Are you okay, Dohalim? People misunderstand the position I hold, but that does not change the fact that I must do all I can when necessary. If you say so, then let's part let's depart for Vicent. On the brink of paradise. Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and try this then. See what happens. Guardian of the Renans, huh? That's quite the title, Doholim. A misnomer that doesn't reflect reality. I didn't choose it, nor do I want it. I am not a lord of old, ruling over the Renans. I do not seek to stand above the people but among them as a fellow human being. Right. You seem to enjoy being a mediator more than a leader. Absolutely, yeah. That's that's very much Joel Lee's way of thinking, I think. Um, the thing with Vicent is, haven't we heard this entire time that Vicent's having issues with food supply? I mean, we could go and ask him, but uh, I somehow don't feel like this is going to be as easy as they expect it to be. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, maybe it will be. I don't know. Yeah, Dohalim has a has a lot. Looks like shoulders. we made it here in one piece. Er, uh, hello. You gotta pop up. The loading times are a little bit long. <laughs> it's okay. I get it. It's understandable. It's not the end of the world. This lady looks like Giselle. Giselle, bleh. Same model or just our actual same person? Let's find out. You deal in wholesale foods, right? Can we talk to you for a bit? <laughs> oh, Kisara, and Lord Dohalim as well. I'm pleased to see you are well. I'm honored that you even remember me. I didn't expect to see you back in this neck of the woods. We have a favor to ask about of you regarding business. Pelagian is running short on food right now. So we were wondering if you could sell some food to them. Although the timing is perfect, See, my acquaintance has a caravan and is looking to expand his business to Pelagian. I'll talk to them and ask if they can deliver some food, some of our food to Pelagian as well. I appreciate it. I'm sure the people of Pelagian will be glad to hear that. Hmm, thing is, the wholesale food business is going to be pro problematic in the long term. What's the matter? Since the world changed a year ago, it seems like the soil in Menencia has also changed a bit from how it used to be. Maybe that's why the crops aren't as bountiful as before. Kisara, can you do something about it? Okay. So commerce is also taking a hit. Okay, we'll talk to the Department for Welfare to see if something can be done. That would be great. Thank you. <laughs> You're so reliable, Kisara. You kind of remind me of the old, the old Lord Dohalim. Uh, is that a compliment? Anyway, thank you about Pelagian. If you need help with anything else, let me know any time. Thanks, I sure will. Oh, we have another favor to ask. Do you have any particularly nutritious food that you can part with at the moment? This is unrelated to the wholesale issue. We need it urgently for a sickly citizen in need. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that, but unfortunately I've just run out of stock. I do apologize. 
It'll be a while until I'm restocked, so it pro would probably be faster to go s gather supplies yourselves. I'll give you a list of the most nutritious things I know of. You should have no problem gathering them. Thank you. I appreciate it. So then. We'd better go get started. All right. Kisara, you seem to have accepted your position as someone the people can rely on. As a member of the Service Corps, being there for those in need comes with the territory. Besides, I'm happy to do it. It's a vital part of maintaining the peace, wouldn't you say? Yes, I think I would. Oh, that's really good for you, Kisara. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Although it was quite funny for her to be compared to Dolim there. Right, we need to speak to the Department for Welfare. Are they inside of the palace? No? Where are they? Oh! Collegian! Uh, okay, sure. I guess we're maybe not talking to- Oh, well, we have to take the, the food back to the, the sickly guy, so that's fine. Well, at least we're gonna help. We're gonna help them out, at least. Ugh, we finally made it. Don't believe and Kisara are certainly working their hardest for the people, so it's really nice to see. I mean, everyone's working hard, but it's, it's nice to see. Oh, man. Right, hello. Oh, acquire one boss fish. That's the nutritious thing? Oh, well, okay, then fine. I guess I'll go back to... Where was it that I got one? Before? Well, I mean, where else was there one? Bear Volcano, there's not one there. Ickley Waste, no. Elizabeth, no. Um, there's one in the Shinefall Woods, right? Oh, there's not a boss fish there, though. So is it just the only one you can get is the one in Nevira? It is, isn't it? Well, I, I guess we're going to Nevira then. I mean, I could technically buy one from the Owl King. <laughs> I'm not going to. I can fish it easy. But I need a boss fish, so... Guess I'll go and grab one. I didn't even think about that. That was quite the little adventure we went on. Oh man. Okay, well we'll go ahead and get this boss fish. Hi Gordano! Uh, I'm I'm kinda hoping there'll be more quests. I don't want this game to end. Like I could check the activity records, it would probably tell me how many quests are left, but I'm not going to. Because I'm scared. You saw it too, right? Sorry, I love you. <laughs> she gets so excited about fishing. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh, so yeah. It was square triangle. Wouldn't it be easier to simply use astral arts to catch the fish and be done with it? That misses the whole point of going out to fish. <laughs> oh, there we go. Dang, this fish is being stubborn. Woo! There we go. Fishing legend Kisara is back in the biz. Oh. Yeah, the, the fishing is, is fairly intuitive in this game. It's, it's easy. <laughs> Just, uh, there we go. Oh, oh there we go. I did try. Oh, dang it. Okay, you know that was my own fault. Oh, jeez. Okay. I should stop talking while I'm doing this. There we go. I didn't think about that one. Oops. Oh well. Wow. This fish is seriously rare. That's not a zoogle, right? Nah, it's fine. We got even an even bigger one than last time. Wow, the fish that they're gonna have at the wedding is smaller than this, this one. This should be enough nourishing food. Let's take it back to Pelegian. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, okay, Pelegian, Pelegian. I wanted a boss fish. Like, I mean, it's fine at all, but like, definitely weird that that's the only place you can get a boss fish in this DLC. And that you didn't get the, um, what do you call it? The lures? Ugh, we finally made it. I mean, I'm glad they were in the travel support pack, but what would you do if you didn't have the DLC? Like, can you buy the lures somewhere? Hmm. Did the Owl King, no, the Owl King didn't have them. Maybe the merchants did? I don't know. Anyway, hello. Oh, Lord Dolim. We talked to a merchant in Vicent, as she promised to transport food to Pelegian. It should only be a matter of time before shops are once again flush with groceries of all kinds. We also procured some nutritious items. Give these to your father and, she sh and he should recover. <laughs> thank you so much for everything! If you're going to thank me, I'd like you to thank her as well. Dohalim? She is the one who took the reins in Vicent, 
There's only so much I can do on my own. You're that, uh, Danon? I, uh, don't... No. No need to thank me. No, thank you. I don't know what would have happened to my father if it weren't for you. Glad to be of service. I just thought all Danons around Lord Dokalim are his servants or something. But now I see that you're his equal. Hmm. From now, I guess from now on, Renans and Danans should work together like you two. <laughs> you should just take one step at a time. Just like you did now. I'll think about it. Please excuse me now. I want to give this food to my father. Now that the food problem has improved, I hope the situation in Pelagian has moved one step forward. It seems like Pelagian and Vicent are still in need of us right now. Yes, but that's just now. I am certain that eventually Renans and Danans will be able to live together in harmony, even without any one person to guide them. We still have a lot to do in order to achieve such a world. What if... Yes? Hmm. What if a day actually comes and we are able to leave our cities? What would you do then? Hmm. What to do? What I'd really like is a nice, quiet place near the water to relax. <laughs> you don't mind such places either, do you? <laughs> well, I suppose you're right. Perhaps I shall be playing some music by the water. Okay! <laughs> Well, the two of them are clearly thinking to the future, huh? That's cute. <laughs> you've helped everyone in this nation and have my thanks. You've gone- you've all gone way above and beyond for us. <laughs> you are the ones who hold this country together. That day- the day that my presence here is no longer required may come sooner rather than later. Hey! I don't know about that. Sure, more people are back to their old selves, but there's no end to the bickering and quarreling. You take care of whatever you need to do, then come right back. <laughs> Beg your pardon. I intend to do all that I can to ensure that day comes. Mm -hmm. Someday I'll make this city filled with joy. That way you can leave it behind with a smile on your face. <laughs> One other thing. This is for you. A small token of our appreciation. My thanks. Oh my. I'm grateful for your kindness. I promise to make good use of it. We got lavender and red lavender, rosemary, red rosemary, and 10,000 gold. Thank you. <laughs> Is that all the rejuvenation quests? We've visited countless cities, but everywhere we go, there seem to be more problems than before. Perhaps. But no one can deny that the reconstruction efforts are making steady progress. Where we are now? is just the first step on a long road. That's right. With this kind of work on such a large scale, it will probably take decades to complete it all. But if everyone works together towards the same goal, I know we can create a world without suffering. That's right. And even now, there are people with the same ideals as us, all over the world, working to improve their lives. We'll have to do all we can to protect them and to ensure they can continue to do so in peace. The thoughts and actions of the people alive today will shape the world of future generations yet to come. Yeah, if you see something wrong with the world, the only way to make it better is to step up and do something about it. The people we've seen aiding in the reconstruction have reaffirmed that belief. Still, it can be hard to be optimistic given the current circumstances. I know. But that's all the more reason for us to keep working to see this through to the end, right? We'll also have our own dreams and goals to work toward, for the sake of the future we're building. You're right. As long as we're together, I'm sure we can do it. I understand your willingness to go to great lengths for your ideals, but I do hope that you're able to take some days off to rest. I could say the same of you. I get it. Because if you both have a day off, you can spend it together, right? But that's not what I meant. It wasn't? Oh, no! <laughs> that was really cute. Don't accost me with that right after that. That was so cute, though. Oh, man, I'm glad we were able to help Legion and all the other cities as well. It's, it's been lovely to actually rejuvenate places. Oh, goodness. And getting to... <laughs> get, just getting to see everything improve has been lovely. Oh, man. I... I can't say I've noticed like specific little details of places that have improved, but 
I don't know, maybe maybe the more I play, the more I'll see. Oh, that's so cool though. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, <laughs> that, that conversation there was very cute as well with um, with Dolly and Kisara there. <laughs> they need to take breaks, both of them. Okay, well it looks like we've just got Alfin's quest and Ulzebek left, so I guess we'll go ahead and do this, shall we? It looks like it might be Nath or someone who's skipping it. Oh, Zephyr. Oh. Oh, I was so excited for this. Ah, gosh. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. We've reached our destination. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to Nath, shall we? Well, I'm assuming it's Nath. Yeah, it's Nath. No, it's not Nath. <gasps> it's someone else. Hello, Nath. What have you got to say at least? Do you have your ring law? Don't lose it anymore, okay? I doubt you'd do something like that again, but still. He didn't lose it though, he put it there on purpose. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hi there. Think of what Zephyr will do to you if you don't take care of it. He'll come to you in a dream and BAM! And <laughs> that's exactly I what he did. I sense a poor soul who is in dire need. Sounds like our cue to step in and help. Oh, the guy's right there. <laughs> oh well, hello. <laughs> close enough, close enough. Come on, just a little. Why you? Not gonna happen. Everyone's in the same boat. <laughs> oh, fine, lousy cheapskate. What did you just say? After all we've done for you. Hey. Cut it out. What's going on here? Oh, it's you. Perfect timing. Let's ask the Blazing Sword, shall we? Suits me just fine. I'm not gonna complain about whatever the Blazing Sword decides. Now, wait a sec. Hmm. This kid is trying to get materials to repair his house, but there's a waiting list. Come on, I don't need much. I'm worked to the bone and just want a place to sleep after a hard day's work. What's wrong with that? You think you're the only one? Materials are distributed after performing thorough investigations into necessity. We can't make exceptions for everyone. Uh, well, I suppose that's true, but... Damn right it is. See, the Blazing Sword is on my side. No, all I'm saying is... They give it... They, they give me some that are going to Mosul. That shouldn't be a problem, right? Uh, Mosul? The material's meant for the Renans. Uh, I suppose there might be some flexibility there. <laughs> they put us through hell for so long, they can hardly complain if we do to them what they did to us. Now just wait a minute. Huh? What, you have a problem with that? You, the one who pummeled the Renans? Yeah, just wave that sword of yours around and they'll fall in line. Uh. I only wanted to end their tyranny. I'm not out for revenge. What? That's what you say, but... I know how you feel, but with that kind of thinking, the fighting will never end. You've got to understand, you can't inflict the same pain you've suffered onto others. I've got no intention of disobeying you. Yeah, it's not like we can stand up to the Renans without you anyway. That's not what I'm saying. Though I will be your shadow. Volron. He said that to him. Oh! getting through. It's not about what the Blazing Sword says. You didn't drop Zephyr's name. I can't play that card forever. I do understand how both of them feel. It's just that... It's important to explain yourself using your own words. But it's just as important to rest when you need to. Let's call it a day. Yeah, alright. I'm having... A suspicion. We need to rest at the inn in Ulzebek. I'm having a suspicion that this may be a scenario we have encountered before. Perhaps. <laughs> okay, you know what? Sure, I'll do it. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. All right. Uh, hi, can we? Why do we have to talk to you asleep? <laughs> Should it be the other, the other guy? Oh well, whatever. You look thoroughly beat. Care to take a rest? Yeah. Oh, he looks really sad. <laughs> Poor Alfin. I knew it. <clears throat> What's this? Look at you. What the? It's you! Weak as always. You make me sick. Full run. But you're dead! 
Oh? Then how am I here before you now? It's a dream. I'm just dreaming. Is that what you think? Allow me to enlighten you. I know the truth of this world. Friendship, trust, all that you believe in is fragile and fleeting. Stop. Those you seek to save are selfish and uncaring. You know it to be true. The only way to unify them... Stop! ...is through fear. I knew this was go- Oh my god, he's level 100. Uh... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Why now of all times? Losing your temper because it's the truth. You really are a pathetic bastard, aren't you? Enough! Raining slap! Oh god, this is gonna be bad! Ah! My harder. My turn. Oh my god! Ah. The only thing that can unite the feeble maggots of this world is domination by force. Find them with chains of fear and drag them to heal at your will. Dominate them. Trample them and make them crawl on the ground. Stop it! I'm not like you! Alphys! You know who you are, Lego. Like, oh, you're very similar to Law Alvin. <laughs> the best way to resolve your inner issues is to fight your demons in your head. <laughs> Although, to be fair, at least Alvin's actually sleeping. Law just did it while he was daydreaming. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Oh, I'm not gonna stop with the spell. No, no, I'm not. Okay, hold on. I need to use another grape gel. Oh, jeez. I don't know what the chances are of me winning this. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh, I'm gonna try my best, but I don't know whether it's gonna happen. It's cool to see you again, Moron, but uh. Oh jeez. There we go. You picked the wrong fight. I mean, it is very cool to get to fight him again, but at the same time, it's like, oh no. I... Oh god, I didn't even think I could do the, the, the zebra fight, never made this one. Hydrate! Okay, okay. He just decided to start talking during the Mystic Art, but sure, go off, I guess. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. Okay, this is fine. Oh, jeez. Kneel before your sovereign! Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> oh, Ron, why are you like this? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, it's that one, okay. Try harder! <laughs> This is fine. Raining slash. Rising one. See, this is fine. Take your soul like you did in the ends. Its flame burned down all who oppose you until only ash remains. Now it's already in your hands. All you have to do is use it. No, you're wrong. I have it. I must take it. Oh, no. This is how you know it's not the, the real Voron. Because why would Voron know about what happened to Diaz? <laughs> oh, poor Alvin though. Oh, no wonder he's having issues with it. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Oh, yikes. You know, for me at level 100, this isn't too bad. I get to say that right now, but if it gets a lot harder and I die, then... Uh... <laughs> yikes. Anyway. Oh, jeez. Just use another grape job. It's fine. This should do it! Oh god, I actually meant to dodge that. There we go. Oh, come on! Oh, jeez. Alfred, you can do it, I believe in you. Uh, I don't know whether I can, but... Well, I mean, I'm almost on it. Oh, 
Did he just call me a coward? Freaking rude. Okay, I'm paralyzed again. Oh god. Ah! Oh no! Oh no, I need to heal, I need to heal. Oh god. Please, please. There we go. Ooh. Okay. There we go. I did it! I actually did it! What's the matter? No words to disagree? <sighs> Are you so afraid to admit the truth? That power and fear will always win over faith and honor? Or will it take the pain of the whip to open your eyes? Maybe. It's true that I don't know the pain of the whip. I couldn't feel pain when they struck me after all. And I understand what you're saying. People can be selfish. That much I can't deny. They hide their true intentions to get what they want. I've seen it countless times. Even so, I choose a path free of oppression. So a refusal then. At the very least, you have no choice but to use force if you wish to destroy me. Do I? Maybe you can be defeated with force. But that would make me no better than you. If you utilize fear to rise above others, You'll only live in fear of when you yourself will fall. It's another form of oppression. Hmm. You aren't Volron. You're a shadow born from my doubts. Even if that's true, I still have the power to engulf you in darkness. What will you do if not destroy me? If you were born from me, then that means you're a part of me. I'll accept that and keep on living. Hmm. Taking the weak route, are we? Go on then. But stay vigilant, or the night may come when this shadow consumes you. I'm used to your threats, but I'll heed your warning all the same. Well, okay then, that was interesting. <laughs> okay. Go off, Alfin. <laughs> That was cool though, I liked that. I have thoughts, but give me a minute. Good morning. <clears throat> Didn't get enough sleep? No, it's not that. Then what? I think I had a strange dream. Oh? About what? I don't remember exactly, but I think it was important. Well, whatever it was, you seem less tired than you were yesterday. Now that you mention it, I do feel like a load has been lifted. Good. Now let's get moving. We still have a lot to do. Yeah. I'm not giving up. Oh, that was really good! No, I will be your shadow. Unparalleled problem solver! Oh, that must mean we've done all the quests. Individual growth. That means we've done all the character ones, right? Oh, I like how Law's the thing for it. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Burning essence. A testament proving that Alphen has completely matched his traits and surpassed his previous limits. I think it's safe to rest here now. That was so cool. Oh man. I, I have thoughts. Okay, so it's interesting actually to differentiate between Law's one and Alphans one there because obviously Law was just kind of daydreaming and things like he needed his resolve strengthened by his dad being um, subsented to him basically because it just reminded him of oh yeah no this is why I want to fight and things. Whereas with Alphan it was more of like a he needs to remember not to bow down to the shadow of Voron that's in the back of his head, because Voron will haunt him forever. Like he clearly had that much of a of an impression on him. And Alpha just needs to remember to keep his resolve up. Um so I, I found that really interesting. Um in like psychological things. Yeah. I don't know. That that was really neat. I feel like I had another thought. And I think it's gone now. I don't know, I think it's gone. If I remember it, I'll let you know. I'm a little sad it's gone now. Anyway, we've got a skit here. One's own master. Hmm. 
What are you looking at? I'm not sure. The world in front of me, I guess. Nothing has really changed, but somehow it feels like I'm looking at something new. Even the stars are brighter. It's like a wall that was always there is gone now. It's hard to describe. Maybe your breakthrough has let you see things differently. You think so? <laughs> yeah. You might be right. Maybe I was scared. That people would be disappointed in you? Yes. But then I was thinking, do you remember the last thing Volrun said to me? If you choose to walk that path, you choose that path. You choose a path of betrayal, despair, and corruption. I remember. If I kept trying to play the hero everyone wanted me to be, I may have ended up just like he said. Of course, I know this won't solve all my problems. I'm sure there will still be times when I face betrayal or despair. But I can accept that if it's the result of my own choices. As long as I make my own decisions, I will be the master of my own fate. It's strange how a simple change in one's mindset can make such a big difference. It's not like I'm doing anything differently. You freed yourself. It's been a while, but you finally look like yourself again, Alfin. Thanks. Thank you, Xion. That was really sweet! Oh, the fact that he looks like himself again! Oh, I love that for them. Oh, this game is so good. Uh, that was a really good skit. I like that a lot. I love that Alfin's finally come to a resolve as well. And finally found that for himself. Oh gosh! Also, I really liked that um, shot of everyone together in, in the end of Alphans Quest there. And also, completely off topic thing. <laughs> but when we were finishing up in, in the Sisleden rejuvenation, Law, um, Law quoted what Zephyr said on the execution platform, and I found that really sad because it was like, oh, he's, he does still remember it. It's just, it's impressive how people remember quotes here, but also if they leave that much of an impression of, on them, of course they're going to remember what people have said to them in the past. All right. Well, I think, is that the last quest? Because we just got a trophy. Yeah, that's the last quest, isn't it? Oh, that's so sad. Uh, okay, well, I'm curious now. I'm curious now. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the activity records just to see. No, not activity records. Play records just to see, just to see what it says. I'm just curious. So I've been playing this for 27 hours, <laughs> which is a lot. Uh, two hours and 31 minutes of combat, um, but only 15 battles. Wow. Sorry, 125 battles. I I read that completely wrong. Um, the combo damage record's pretty good though. Enemies defeated. So enemy types defeated only 45 of over over 110. But also, I've not done any of the um, training grounds or anything, have I? Uh, current guard, 179,000, my goodness. Um, yeah, so lots of that. Oh, only 44 out of 74 chests, but to be fair, there were a few that I couldn't open because I would just waste things. 51 out of 60 skits? There's still nine more skits! Oh, I suppose the I've not done any of the training grounds. They might have skits. That makes sense. Okay, okay, this is good to know. A uh, 40 subquest clear. Yeah, so we've done all the subquests. I'm really sad about that. Ah, oh, but we got more skits to go. It's fine. Uh, 378 and 450 items. Yeah. Okay. This stuff's good to know. Um, I've discovered all nine camps. Yeah. 14 out of 41 recipes cooked. Yeah. That's all right. I get this. Okay. So, that's good to know. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go chasing skits for a little bit. <laughs> um, I need to take out all the gigantos and I need to do the training grounds. And I, I think that if we go to the Adan Lake, then that'll be the end of it. That feels final battle so let's not do that just yet. Um, I'm going to instead go to... Do I want to do training grounds first? You know what, I want to camp first. Let's let's just go to the Neverwear Snow Plains and I'll camp there. Um, Just to see. Oh, I probably should have gone somewhere that had a gigant zoogle, huh? Because I already took out the one here. Because I should go around and find those gigants again. There weren't that many of them. That was quite the little adventure we went on. I need to find the special zoogles as well. I don't even know where I'm going to find those. 
Um, and maybe between episodes I'll force some more accessories. Um, just to see if I can get something better for everyone. Um, so I could probably do the lower levels of the trading grounds, at the very least. I didn't expect that fight against Voron to go as well as it did considering it was level 100. <laughs> I'm only 10 levels behind. So freezing. Can't take it. She's minimizing her movements to conserve body heat. Talk about an impregnable defense. I'm just torturing Kisara over here. <laughs> Poor Kisara. Okay, okay. Um, let's go ahead then and have... Oh, I don't know what to cook. Um... I mean, heal CP after battle is quite nice. Sure, we'll have that. It's finished. Hopefully the others like it. Nice. Alright, maybe I'll go do some Gigant Ziggles then. I don't know, I think because the Gigant Ziggles in the main game were kind of part of quests... Time to make you all proud oh. out there! Just like I always do. Good for you, Law. I think because the Jagat Ziggles in the main game were all parts of side quests, it made them more incentive to actually do them. I've not really been doing them otherwise. Um, which is a bit of a shame. I know I need to. Was there one on the Trasada Highway somewhere? Maybe not. Hmm. Where was the other one? I mean, I know there was one in Mahaksar at the Adan Lake, where I... I don't want to go specifically. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yikes. Okay. So, uh, not that one. You know, I'm just going to go do the training grounds instead. Um, at least there's a shop right beside it as well, so I can forge accessories and stuff if I need to. We're not going to get through all of them for every single character right this second, because um, some of them are fairly high level. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. But I could at least try and do one or two. Um, okay. I, I'm curious actually, oh yeah, I looked at these, didn't I? Survival battle and stuff, yeah. So, would it be easier to do the solo battle stuff? Probably not. Because they've all got an ultimate level 99 one, huh? I don't know who to start with. I mean, law would be pretty easy. Alfin is usually pretty difficult, but I can, I can at least do the lower levels for everyone. I mean, I can certainly try all of these. You know what, sure, I'll start with Alfin. Let's give it a shot. This is a bit of an alpha episode after all. <laughs> or at least it's turned into one. Oh man, okay. I assume that we're not allowed to use items again. That's what the training grounds are usually like. Oh, I don't want this to end. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, nice! Raining Slash is a really nice skill. I'm not done. Slash. There we go. Not I'm not done. It's over. We did it. My turn. Oh, one of them is casting a spell. Done. Oh, jeez. Hey, there we I'm go. Last second there. Demon Fang. It's on. Try harder. There My we turn. go. I'm not done. Blow away. Now, while it's reeling. Oh, nice! Mirage, strike, this is going well! Oh, that went really well. That was like one big long combo, my goodness. Uh, okay, we won, we won. Rosemary, nice! And we did the speed one. Good. Sage. Oh, yeah, they gave us five minutes and I did it in 48 seconds. Okay. <laughs> uh, to be fair, uh... That was the novice one, so it's gonna get harder. Oh, I'm gonna lose some pepper? How did I have that much pepper? We were struggling for that at the start. Oh. Like this should be easy. There we go. Oh, ah! You're mine! Hat! Pierce through! They've changed the armor of it for these soldiers as well. That's quite fun. Oop. Oh jeez, I'm taking damage. There we go. Okay. Ah. 
Okay, this is fine. No escape. It's over. Mirage, try harder. My turn. There we go. I'm not done. Blow away. Rising Wyvern. Oh jeez, okay. Okay, hi there! I'm not done! Ah. Oh, okay! Rising Hydrate! Wyvern. Coming through! Ha! I'm actually running out of war. <laughs> Scarlet Inferno! Okay. I'll have to make sure I fill up before I do the next episode. Oh goodness, okay. Oh gosh. See the problem is I'm one of those people that like avoids finishing things. <laughs> Oh man. Ah! Oh god. Oh god, okay. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. I just shouldn't take any more damage. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay, hopefully we can do this. Hopefully there's not another wave. Okay, this is fine. Raining Slash is really good. Oh no, there's another wave! I'm dead. Ah! Oh god. I'm dead. I hit nothing there. Oh god. Oh god, this is fine, this is fine. Oh god. Eh. That was... Oh my god. Oh my god! Uh, I somehow did that. Okay. One HP at the end there. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, 99 add on pepper. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, and we even got the speed thing. My goodness. Okay. That. Jeez, we got seven minutes for that. <laughs> I. Mm, I mean, I'm level 89. I can certainly try Elvaf and Ultimate, but. Uh, oh, my God. I don't know whether I can. Well, like, I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Oh, God. Okay. I'll be more careful this time. Okay. Hello. I that wasn't careful. Oh, you dummy. Ah. Ow. Okay. I'm doing my best, Alvin. Oh God. Ow. Okay. I, oh my God. Okay. Coming through. I panicked. Please kill it! Oh, it's not gonna kill- Oh, did it kill the other one, though? No, it didn't. I hear it. Oh, God! Really? Oh, jeez. Oh, no, that did hit me. Oh, no. We're gonna- I'm gonna die. Oh, Alvin. I think they re-recorded the battle lines, actually. At least a few of them, because that's definitely- well, I guess they probably didn't keep the files, huh? Like, they probably didn't expect this to ever happen. Like, for there to be a DLC, I mean. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. Oh my god! I- The Blazing Sword got way better, huh? Like, because we finished that quest? That was way better! Oh my god. Oh, oh no, not one of these! And there's little ones too! Oh god, I, I can't heal. And he doesn't have healing arts. Oh jeez. Oh god, okay. Oh god, okay. Oh god. Oh god, okay. Ah! Okay, this is fine. Okay, this is fine. Oh no! Okay! 
Well, <laughs> that did zero. How did that do zero? You got to be kidding me! I was banking my all on that. Oh god. <sighs> yeah, that's how I died. Okay. Uh, you know what? You know what? That's fine. That that makes sense. I messed up right at the start, and uh, that cost me a bit. Okay, I'll try that one more time. Okay. Okay. I was just trying not to get hit by all of them, and then I did get hit by all of them. There we go. Ah. Ah! Jeez! There we go. Okay. This is fine. Oh god. It's not like we need to rush through it specifically, but oh jeez. Okay. Oh, come on! Okay, okay. Okay. Oh no, okay. Oh jeez. Oh, this is fine. I can't say I see this going super- Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Raining Slash is really freaking good. Okay, okay, this is good. I didn't actually mean to use Raining Slash three times there, but whatever. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I didn't I don't know why that didn't do a counter edge there, but alright. Well, I think I targeted the wrong wolf here, but sure, whatever. Oh no! Okay, get out, get out, get out. Oh god, 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 okay. <gasps> it's because that thing came for me. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, okay. Freaking Polystephus. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh no! Oh god, okay. Well. You picked the wrong fight. Oh god, okay. I'm gonna die again. Like I can't get hit once now. Like it's it's impossible. Yeah. Okay. Well <laughs> I think that's a cue to stop with Alfin for now. Um because that it's, oh god, I can't do that right now. Okay, um, I've not got anything set up for Shion or Rinwell at the minute. Law, I could maybe do some of his basic ones. I could try and do the harder ones for Law as well. Uh, but we'll start with the basics. Ow, I'm on it. At least Law could heal himself. Huh? Actually, I didn't even look. Are the titles exactly the same as before? I'm just thinking because Lost started with inspiration, but he usually just gets inspiration from the intervener title. Oh ah! Hey, this wolf and I are a bit similar, huh? <laughs> just running around each other. Hell yeah! Okay, okay. Oh. Well, okay then. That wasn't what I expected to do, but you know what? I'll I'll take it. It's hydration time. Eagle it's time. Ha! 
Watch me soar! Heavenly Crimson Blossom! There we go. Now I'm in the groove. Come and get Now you see what I can do. Hey! Oh my god, their wrist tricks are way better. That's enough! Come and get it! There we go. Easy peasy. There we go. Um, so we got some lavender. That's sage. See, the thing with the the trading grounds is that I'm currently level 89. I don't want to be over leveled for this uh, this final encounter here that we're gonna, probably going to have in the plot. But the highest level of this is extreme, which is 95. So does that mean I should be level 95 before before doing that, or does that mean that I should go and do the plot and then come back? Because I don't want to be over leveled for the final battle again. Oh well. We'll see, we'll see. I don't even know how best to grind. Ow! Now you see what I can do! Knock it into next week! Come do they get the same enemies? No, they don't. Alpha had different ones at the start. First strike. Death awesome. It just makes sense for Alpha to have um not Alpha, for Law to have armored soldiers, because Now you see what I can do. His perk is doing the big punch. Well, hell yeah, Law. Hydration time is imminent, guys. Whoop. Oh, it's the classic. Lightning reflexes. Tenebrous claw. You know, not bad. Come and get it. Watch this. Talon hurricane. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm on it. Yep. Woo! You're wide open. That was a nice dodge. Okay. The thing with Talon Storm, I love that skill so much. Um, and I will admit, part of the reason I use it so much is because Zephyr had it as well, and it just means a lot to me. I do also just like it as a skill. You see what happened there as you crossed me. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, ready to get hydrated? Oh come on! Oh no! Oh dang it! I didn't get my freaking hydration. Dang it! Oh well. I can carve through armor. I'm on it. This is fine. Okay, I may need to heal. Hold on. Uh, arts. Uh, oh goodness. Okay, R2. Inspiration. Inspiration. Inspiration is here. Freaking rude! I'll crush you! I should have maybe moved out of the way. I should have picked better timing. Oh jeez. Okay, okay, now. Uh before they can come after me again. I can do this. I'm gonna have to do that again. Hmm. Okay. This is fine. Inspiration! I can do this. Okay. This is fine. Watch it! First strike! Come and get it! Ah! Oh god, okay. Sorry, Law, I'm doing you a disservice here. Inspiration! Time for Come and get it! Swallow dance! I think I was talking about something before. Okay. Get hydrated! Blow away! Bang blast! It's time! It was about Talon Storm, wasn't it? I remember now. Watch me soar! It no longer matters, so it's fine. Oh, it didn't even kill it! Oh god, heal yourself, boy, heal yourself. I just got kill prevention on. Oh jeez. Oh god, oh god. Okay, I see another one coming for me. Uh, this is a uh, risky, but sure. Okay, got it, got it, got it. What I can do. There we go. Ah, fudge. Yeah, no, the thing with this, uh, with um, uh, some of laws are specifically uh, Talon Storm, uh, Talon Hurricane. A bit, lo a bit long, sorry. And because they're a bit long, it means that it's hard to break out of them because I can't cancel arts the way that you used to be able to. Now I'm real mad. Hydrate. 
I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Woo! Oh, that paralyzed it! Crumble. Watch this. That's so cool. Oh, I died. That was... okay. Well... That's fine, okay. I think I maybe need to get some better equipment before I do the training grounds. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, I can maybe do one or two more solo battles, but I, I, I'm not gonna right now. Well, at least we tried. Okay. Well, in that case... I suppose that's something to do next time. <laughs> oh, jeez. We're getting there. We're getting there. Still got lots to do, but whatever. Okay. Well, in any case, hello. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to end off right now because uh, we've been going for a little while. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know double what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, including the side quests that we've done, uh, specifically the Pelagian uh, rejuvenation one and also Alvin's personal quest, as well as, I guess, the training grounds, if you feel like it. Um, next time, I think we're maybe going to do more training grounds or fighting giganto monsters. We'll see. Um, Gigant Zoogles, sorry. Gigant Zoogles. Different game. <laughs> uh, so I guess look forward to that. I'm putting off the plot for as long as I can. Um, yeah, I don't know about being too overleveled for the plot, but mm, we'll see. In any case, look forward to next time. But for now, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it is for you. And I shall see you next time. You're a shadow born from my doubts. If you were born from me, this is that persona suddenly. Me, I'll accept that and keep on living. Hmm. It's Taking persona. the weak route, are we? <laughs>